Welcome to the Jerry's Movie Review Channel. I am Jerry. Today, I am giving a summary of the movie The Flash. As always remember there will be spoilers. The Flash is an ambitious superhero blockbuster that delivers a mix of thrilling moments and thought-provoking concepts, creating a unique cinematic experience. While it has its flaws, the film's strengths shine through, making it a worthwhile watch for fans of the genre. One of the standout aspects of The Flash is its impressive visual effects. The film showcases some of the best digital FX work to date, immersing the audience in a visually stunning world. From exhilarating action sequences to awe-inspiring displays of superpowers, the visual spectacle is truly remarkable. Additionally, The Flash explores a wide range of genres, blending slapstick comedy, family drama, heavy metal action, and philosophical science fiction. This intriguing mix creates a distinctive narrative that keeps you engaged throughout the movie. The film's exploration of parallel universes, time travel, and the question of altering canonical events adds depth to the story and encourages viewers to contemplate the consequences of our choices. Ezra Miller delivers a dedicated performance as Barry Allen, the young forensic scientist and secret superhero. Despite external controversies, Miller brings sincerity to the character, effectively portraying Barry's struggles with personal loss and the weight of his responsibilities. As the film progresses, we witness Barry's growth and maturity, following the traditional hero's journey. Director Andy Muschietti and screenwriter Christina Hodson deserve credit for taking the film's ideas and characters seriously, avoiding the trap of gloomy machismo that often plagues superhero movies. By infusing the story with emotional depth and meaningful character arcs, they create a refreshing take on the genre. The film's incorporation of parallel versions of Barry Allen, played by Miller himself, is a highlight. Miller's performance showcases his versatility as he skillfully portrays the contrasting personalities of the two Barrys. The scenes featuring both versions of the character are visually seamless, and Miller's portrayal distinguishes each Barry with authenticity and nuance. Furthermore, The Flash connects its narrative to the wider DC Extended Universe DCU, by acknowledging the canonical events of previous films. This interconnectivity reinforces the sense of a shared universe and adds depth to the story. Notably, Michael Keaton's reprisal of the older, more world-weary Batman resonates with fans of the 1980s Tim Burton films, bringing a nostalgic touch to the film. While The Flash tackles significant philosophical and scientific questions, it also manages to balance these weighty themes with a somewhat hopeful ending. The film acknowledges the potential consequences of tampering with time and the dangers of defying nature, staying true to the spirit of Mary Shelley's cautionary tale, Frankenstein. This commitment to exploring deeper ideas without neglecting the audience's desire for wish fulfillment is commendable. However, it is worth noting that The Flash sometimes relies heavily on callbacks and references to past iterations of heroes and villains from various media. While this serves as fan service, it occasionally feels excessive and distracting. Nonetheless, the film's core story and thematic exploration remain engaging, making these callbacks a minor flaw in an otherwise captivating narrative. Despite some shortcomings, The Flash stands out as a superhero film that aims high and offers a unique viewing experience. Its stunning visuals, genre-blending storytelling, and sincere performances make it a worthwhile addition to the superhero blockbuster era. Fans of the character and the genre as a whole will find plenty to enjoy in this ambitious and thoughtful adventure. I hope you enjoyed this review, if you did please take a moment to like, share, and subscribe to the channel.